Yeah, you know, talk about why it is that uh, the scientists don't know how to develop DNA or RNA by chance, and you need them both at the same time. You can't have one and then the other, either direction. You've got to have them both together, and they're very, very complicated. Yeah, and this is the chicken and egg paradox, as it's referred to, is that namely DNA can't replicate uh, itself. It really needs uh, a collection of protein machines to replicate itself. But the problem is, is that those protein machines are dependent upon the existence of DNA. DNA contains the information needed to make those protein machines, but DNA can't replicate if those protein machines don't exist. And that interdependence is called the chicken and egg paradox. And so that just highlights, in, in essence, the irreducible complexity of living systems. Right. Buzz, has any uh, chemist ever made a DNA and RNA or a protein molecule in the lab? Uh, not th through strictly undirected so natural mean, means. Yeah. When you can make those compounds in the lab, but it involves a tremendous amount of effort on the part of a chemist. And it's always protected. It's always protected. The conditions are just right. And, and why wasn't that the, the case in the primordial earth? Well, the, in the primordial earth, you have a complex, if, assuming there was a prebiotic soup, you have a very complex chemical system. All these different compounds would interfere with the putative origin of life pathways. Uh, many things would have shut down the chemistry. The conditions would have been physically and chemically harsh. There that were would more things that could destroy life right. than to build life. Right, and even destroy the molecules needed for life. As soon as those molecules would form, there are a whole lot of forces, chemical and physical, at work to destroy even the molecules, let alone living systems. You either have ultraviolet radiation destroying the molecules or you get oxygen destroying the molecules. 